Welcome. It is time for Constitution Study Television. I am Douglas V. Gibbs, your host. And let's talk about flag burning. Now, from a constitutional standpoint, when it comes to the United States Stars and Stripes, the American flag, there is no authority in the Constitution giving the federal government any say over whether or not there should be a law regarding burning the American flag. Congress has no authority to make a law regarding it, and the courts have no authority ruling on it. It's a state issue because also the states are not prohibited from touching on that subject. So technically it's a state issue. Now that said, I'm not comfortable with a number of the states uh, having that authority, California, Illinois, New York, but the Constitution is as the Constitution is. Now, that said, in 1989, there was a court case, Texas versus Johnson, in 1989, in which court ruled 5-4 to four in favor of a gentleman who was convicted of breaking a Texas law prohibiting desecrating of the flag. The majority decision, written by Justice William Brennan, described the person's act as one of political expression and ruled the man's criminal conviction unwarranted because his conduct did not threaten the, to disturb the peace. Now, political speech, burn the flag, I actually support the idea that if we have freedom of speech, we have to accept all freedom of speech. So someone has a right to burn the flag, according to the court, and be honest with you, from a just a freedom of speech point of view, I agree, even though I don't like the actual act. But what happens in society is those people, those persons will become ostracized. Those persons will usually not be accepted in the community. The community will retaliate against them. I remember there was a video of Rick Monday, baseball player, during a game, running and grabbing a flag that was trying to be burned on the field by uh, a couple of persons. The score, the scoreboard lights up, great play, Rick Monday, and the crowd stands on their feet and they're cheering. That's normally the response when it comes to the burning of the American flag. But what about other flags? If burning the American flag should be freedom of speech, freedom of expression, then why not, if someone's upset with illegal aliens, burning the Mexican flag or burning the rainbow flag because they disagree with the homosexual agenda? Should that also be freedom of expression? Well, the courts say no. The courts say that that is a hate crime because those are protected groups. Well, why should one burning of a flag be okay and the other one not? Burning of a flag is burning of a flag. Freedom of, of expression or freedom of speech is freedom of expression and freedom of speech. Is it not? Now that side, that, that said, recognizing that there is no federal authority regarding the burning of a flag, there are actually two Republican U.S. Senators that are trying to um, propose an amendment that uh, would outlaw the burning of the American flag. Steve Daines, Republican from Montana, and Kevin Kramer, Republican from North Dakota. And on June 15th, President Trump actually tweeted his endorsement of that proposal. It's a state's rights issues, but yet the federal government's gotten involved. Now we're talking about a proposal to, the, to amend the Constitution so that the federal government can make a law regarding it. Is that a Pandora's box won't open? Because if we give the federal government the authority to write laws that we may agree with, regarding the American flag and flag burning in general, then are we not also opening the door for them to write law that we may not like? The door swings both ways, after all. And those who live by the sword die by the sword. And the question is, what about natural rights? Is the federal government getting involved with our natural rights in that way really against the original intent of what the First Amendment was all about in the first place? After all, the first words of the first, first Amendment is Congress shall make no law. It's not telling Congress to protect our rights. It's telling Congress hands off our rights. So do we want them to have the ability to make laws regarding the desecration of the flag? I'm asking questions. I'm not telling you where I'm standing here. I'm asking you questions. I want you to think about it. Now, after the 1989 opinion uh, by the courts... Congress passed the Flag Protection Act in 1990, uh, which was another flag desecration law, and there was another decision on it. Once again, 
the Supreme Court decided that uh, the laws uh, the prohibiting the burning of the American flag were unconstitutional. Once again, Justice Brennan wrote, If there is a bedrock principle underlying the First Amendment, it is that the government may not prohibit the expression of an idea simply because society finds the idea itself offensive or disagreeable. Well, now that's a fascinating opinion. Would that then not apply to the burning of a flag of another country or a rainbow flag? Just because there's a members of a group that finds it offensive and disagreeable, should the person's freedom of expression to burn that flag be prohibited? The question is, you know, should flag burning be punished if there's a problem with it for according to certain laws on the books by local municipalities, by county or state government, or by the federal government. Once again, when it comes to authority, it's a state issue, technically. Now, it's distasteful, it's offensive to me to burn the American flag. Well, it's distasteful and offensive to a homosexual. If you burn the burn the rainbow flag, it's distasteful and, and uh, offensive to someone who was originally from Mexico and still holds uh, their allegiance to that country to burn the Mexican flag. So should all of that be outlawed because it's distasteful or offensive to somebody? Or is it distasteful and offensive to the Constitution to tell someone, hey, because there's a group that doesn't like your freedom of expression, you better be quiet. You better keep, hold your tongue and hold your lighter. No freedom expression of expression for you because... We're going to consider it a hate crime. Well, in my opinion, natural rights don't work that way. Natural rights should be equally applied. Natural rights are unalienable and shouldn't be separated from us because someone has a problem with it. Now, should we make an exception for certain flags? The American flag or the rainbow flag or other flags because someone considers it offensive I don't believe so once again while I'm not a fan of persons burning the American flag I recognize how liberty works if liberty is to work that means it has to be open to everybody so in other words if you have the freedom to do what you agree with then that means someone also has to have the freedom to do what you disagree with but at the same time, our freedoms, our liberties, our natural rights are not supposed to interfere with the next person's. I have a freedom to, and the liberty and the natural right to swing my arms, but I don't have the right to swing my arms into your nose. You have a right not to be punched in the nose. Everybody, though, should be able to swing, swing their arms, no matter who they are or their style of swinging their arms, as long as they're not punching other people in the nose. So should not then any flag be allowed to be burned legally? But if someone finds it offensive and they want to stop the flag burner, then that's also their right to do so. Now the question is, are they interfering with a person's right of freedom of expression? Well, that's between them. That's, that, that is up to society. Ultimately, what it comes down to is it's none of government's business. They shouldn't be making laws at all regarding this. However, if that proposed amendment goes into play, we could very well see a federal authority regarding the desecration of the American flag. And if that were the case, and I do this video again, once that amendment's in place, then I would have to say, hey, from a constitutional standpoint, the federal government can keep you from burning the American flag. It says so in amendment such and such. And I'll have to agree it's constitutional. Even though I'll probably not be happy with the fact that now, because we disagree with them, a particular group, has been disallowed their own freedom of expression. My name is Douglas V. Gibbs. Thanks for listening. DouglasVGibbs.com, PoliticalPistachio.com. Donate. There's yellow donate on a button on those sites. That helps keep this going. I've got books for sale. There's seven of them right now. The latest being a, a Promise of American Liberty. And subscribe to the video. Share the video. Hit the notification bell on the YouTube page so that you get notified when new videos come out. Share this far and wide so that everybody gets educated because an informed society is a society able to maintain their liberty. 
United we stand, combined we kick butt. God bless America, my friends. God bless you. Stay safe, stay patriotic, and as always, stay constitutional. We'll see you next time.